Hello, Adalo makers. We've got an awesome new integration for you with Xano, which is a scalable no-code backend for your apps. So instead of using the Adalo database uh, to store your users and your collections and all of your data, you can actually use Xano to do this now. Um, so to get started, I'm just going to go to Xano.com and create an account. Once you've created a Xano account, you will probably see a screen similar to this, where you can go in and tell them about the background knowledge that you have. Uh, you can choose Adalo as the front end of your app. And instead of, you know, importing, you can certainly import from you know, CSV or Airtable or another database if you've got one. I'm just going to go ahead and start fresh with Xano here. And uh, if you're just starting with Xano, I would recommend you do the same. Go ahead and uh, give this a name, this workspace a name. We'll hit continue here. I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch as well. And let's add some tables. Uh, and, and Xano tables are akin to the collections in Adalo. So they serve kind of the same same purpose here. So maybe we've got jobs, companies, and locations. And always make sure that you have this checked so that Adalo can perform you know, the create, update, and delete actions uh, and, the, and the read actions uh, on the records in your Xano tables here. We'll click on continue. And you can also uh, kind of bootstrap using a lot of services with Xano as well. So much like custom actions in Adalo, you can set up these functions in Xano and selecting these kind of bootstraps, the endpoints and the functions that you'll need to uh, make these work. Uh, and that way, all you really have to do is just kind of plug in an API key and you're good to use these. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just not select any for now and click continue. Uh, you'll want to select which table contains your users. Uh, in this case, it's user, <laughs> my users table. And we always recommend people start with this email option here uh, to, to let their users log in and sign up first. You can always add more of these later if you want to, right? So I'll go ahead and click finish here. It's going to go ahead and create my workspace. And you can see that I've got a, a, a my Adalo demo workspace here. And now that we've got this set up, we can actually connect this to the front end of our, Ado of our Adalo app. And the way that we can do this is we're going to go over here to API, and we're going to click on this default um, API group, which is just a group of endpoints. So I'm going to click in here, and you can see that we've got several different things. We've got uh, a bunch of auth endpoints, which is what our users are going to use to log in and sign up with. We've got uh, some endpoints for our companies for our jobs uh, table and location, and then finally for users when we want to get information about our users. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to this uh, API group base URL. I'm just going to hit this copy button here. And if I go back to Adalo, when you first create an Adalo app, uh, you'll see kind of some options here for which one to choose. And I'm actually going to choose the, uh, the native mobile app, but you can certainly choose whichever one you want. I'll click next here, and I'm going to go into advanced options and choose this new option here, use Xano database and authentication. Now, you will need to be on the team or business plan to use this and to see this option here. Um, and there's currently no way to make an existing Adalo app transition over to a Xano database app. Um, you will have to create a new app in order to, to use this feature. But once I've got that selected, I'm going to go ahead and click done here. We'll give this a name like a, a Xano demo. I'll go ahead and create this app. And you can see that it's giving me some, some kind of instructions here. And I will go ahead and click begin. And this is asking for my Xano API base URL. And this is where we're going to actually just paste in that URL that we copied from Xano. We'll click run test. It's going to reach out and get our authentication endpoints and our user for us. And you can kind of see those endpoints here if you click on that drop down. So I'm going to click next here. And then we get the option to actually select which of the tables we want to import into our Adalo app. Um, and you can see, of course, all of the endpoints here for those as well. But I'm just going to go ahead and kind of select all of these here. I'll click Finish. And the Xano database setup is complete. So it's that easy to integrate Xano into your app. If I click on the Database tab here, you can now see that I've got my Users Collection 
right, with all of the properties that I have in that uh, table in Xano. And same thing with these other tables that I've set up. Um, by default, Xano provides ID and created at uh, properties for us. Uh, but you can certainly go into Xano and create uh, other properties, uh, you know, other fields and field types as well uh, to house uh, pretty much any information you want to about these these tables or collections, all right? If you want to remove a table, all you have to do is go here and click Remove Collection. It's worth noting that when you remove it from Adalo, it does not also remove it from Xano. So you will have to remove it in both places. Um, but... Uh, if you want to remove it, if you remove it on the Xano side, uh, if you delete the table over there, just know that it'll still show up here. So you need to delete it in both places um, in, in order to remove a collection. And when you want to, when you get ready to add another collection, let's say you've made, you've you know added a table in Xano, and you need to kind of sync up the Xano side of things with the Adalo side of things, you can just go over here and hit Add Collection, and you'll see this modal that uh, we saw before where we can just kind of select the, the tables that we want to import into our Adalo app. And coming back to the, to the Adalo app here, you can see that we've still got our option for external collections. So uh, the Xano collections and tables, they really just kind of replace uh, what you would see here for the Adalo uh, collections. You can still use external collections just like you would before, connecting to other APIs, uh, like databases, Airtable, uh, you know, public APIs, anything that you want to pull in here, you, you can certainly do that uh, here as well. All right. So that's uh, how you get started integrating Xano as the no-code scalable backend for your Adalo app.